Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I am making St. Patrick Day treats. Ah, that is so hard to say. St. Patrick's Day treats. That's what I made, um, or making. <laughs> I just thank you guys so much for putting up with me over here on YouTube. I have struggled the past week and a half to get over here onto YouTube. I have been just kind of a little bit off, doing some mental clarity, doing some things for myself, and um, it's been hard to remember to film. By the time I think about filming, I'm laying in bed and it's 11 o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh darn it, I wanted to film that today, or whatever. But anyways, I'm here today, and I love holidays, all thing holidays. Every holiday, I love to celebrate with the kids. My kids are 12 years old to six years old, so they're still fun to do all the fun things with, if you know what I mean. They haven't outgrown it yet. They look forward to it, and that's huge to me, and I'm just gonna hang on to it as long as I can. So for St. Patrick's Day, last year on St. Patrick's Day, we were headed on vacation. And so I didn't get to go all out per se, um, but this year I had some ideas in my mind that I had seen other people do that I was like, ooh, I know my kids were like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make St. Patrick's Day crack. It's close to the recipe Christmas crack if you make it for Christmas. Um, many years ago, I started making Christmas crack. So I just adjusted it for St. Patrick's Day, added some green to it. And then I'm going to make a shamrock parfait and then rainbow on a stick. I am running into a little issue with the rainbow on a stick. I know my kids will love them. It'll be a fun treat, but um, I only have cake pop sticks instead of shish kebab sticks. I don't know what I did with those. So may probably used them all up this summer and forgot about it. So those are the three recipes I'm making. I think they'll be fairly simple for you guys to repeat here at home. Excuse me. They're at home for you, with wherever you are. Um, I'm going to be posting this video two days before um, St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully you guys have time to go out and get to your ingredients if you do want to make these. Um, I am only going to make enough to kind of show you guys and then I'm going to remake some of this. Probably not the St. Patrick's track. I'll be able to store that well. But um, the other stuff I'll probably just make again St. Patrick's Day morning. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. First off for the St. Patrick's Day crack. This is a lot like Christmas crack if you make it. <laughs> the name is funny. So main ingredient is kettle corn popcorn, green M&Ms, and you betcha, I dug through this whole bag to find the green ones. <laughs> um, Fruit Loops, I just grabbed a few of those because I thought it would be fun just to have a little more green. Mini marshmallows, sprinkles, look up close, dinosaur sprinkles, Walmart, that was the variety. Regular dinosaur, peanuts, pistachios, only two packs because those are so expensive, uh, white chocolate covered pretzels, and then parchment paper. paper. First off to our big red bowl, and add the kettle popcorn. Can you guys see all right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it'll be too late by the time you guys see this, if it was all right, right? Peanuts, green M&Ms, Fruit Loops, mini marshmallows, chocolate covered pretzels, white chocolate covered pretzels, pistachios, I'm gonna shake this up just a little bit. And I was only gonna add half of that. Here. I was gonna save the next or part of that for a tip, but looks like I'll just save this much. <laughs> okay. So to our pan, we're gonna add butter. I think this is about two tablespoons, maybe three. We're gonna let that melt, then we'll add our marshmallows. Now that the butter is melted, I'm gonna add in, I don't know, like a cup, a cup and a half. I'm not good at guessing, but I am making this recipe up on my own for my Christmas crack. But I'm instead of white chocolate, I'm gonna use marshmallows. So just stir this. All 
All right, marshmallows are melted. We're gonna pour that in. And stir it together. Now we're going to pour it out on our parchment paper here. I'm going to kind of let all the bigger chunks go first so that I can decorate the top with this. Make sure every piece gets some of that. All right, now the good stuff. is that now we'll wait till here let me pick you guys up now we'll wait till it dries for this next one we're making a shamrock parfait so we're gonna have pistachio pudding oof that's hard to say cool whip airheads rainbow berry these were super hard to find by the way more mini marshmallows and some sprinkles and that's it oh and two cups of milk for this all right, start with the jello here. I love pistachio pudding. My grandma made like a pistachio pudding um, salad when I was growing up. I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about and it was so, so good. So now I'm gonna add two cups of milk. I love pistachios in general, but, and to be honest, I can't find my whisk. We got our kitchen painted this past week. That's why I've been kind of MIA. And um, so we're just gonna have to do this by hand. And it says stir for five minutes until a soft set, right? Is that what the package says? Whisk for two minutes, all right. We're gonna spoon for two minutes. Okay, I went and grabbed my whisk for her. <laughs> My KitchenAid. I guess I could have pulled my KitchenAid hand mixer out there. This will work. I just want to make sure there's no clumps, right? All right, so the pudding is a soft set. Still a little bit liquidy, but for time's sake, I'm going to show you guys just how I'm going to do it. So first, I'm going to start with some pistachio pudding. Make a good solid layer here on the bottom. I'm gonna, maybe a Kleenex, if I need to decide what I should. And I'm eating this one, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. Okay, then I'm gonna do a layer of Cool Whip. And I did a good job touching the edges while going in like I would. <laughs> I don't mind a little tissue <laughs> in my parfait. Shoot. Okay, so then from there I'm going to do these. Here, let me show you. 
these Airhead Extreme Rainbow Berries. I'm gonna make a, a round it. Here, I just want this to be pretty for, how do people do it, with a washcloth? But you get the concept, I'm eating this. <laughs> Just creating a little barrier around the cup. And then I'm gonna make a layer on top of the Cool Whip. And I am no perfectionist by any means. Ah, that one's getting super. Another layer of pistachio pudding. And then we'll do, oh, that's my timer for the pistachio pudding that I got impatient for. Then we're gonna do a last layer of Cool Whip. And on top of that, we're going to do sprinkles. And then a full size. Actually, that seems like a bit much, doesn't it? Oh, maybe it's because, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna cut this a little bit to see. Yeah, there we go. That's cute. Oh, don't fall over, please. Okay. To that, we're gonna add some marshmallows. Voila! This is gonna fall. Please stop falling. Yum. Okay, so for the rainbow on a stick, we're gonna use Fruit Loops. Crack on a stick. I guess it's not crack on a stick. Nope, that's what Big we're marshmallows. Doing. And I have these, um, I think they're cake pop sticks. It was, I was gonna use skewers, but I actually didn't have any skewers, so I'm just gonna use these. So, anyways, we're gonna start with a marshmallow. And we're gonna go red, orange, yellow. And my goal is to make enough of these that my kids have them for um, a snack. So probably two each, I think. So. My cake pop stick is just almost too big for some of these. Getting it on there though. All right, red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, blue, maybe I shouldn't do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the yellow. I think we don't have enough room for the marshmallow. There we have it. Rainbow, oh, where are you guys at? Rainbow on a stick my hair. Oh. Do you ever just want to have a good hair day? <laughs> All right, we're done. Wasn't that easy? I, yeah, I'm going to try the Christmas, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day crack. Good. I like the marshmallow. It's my first time eating on YouTube. That was awkward. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I hope these recipes are, you're able to re replicate them. If you have any other recipes that you like to make for St. Patrick's Day, let me know down in the comments below and we'll see you next time guys. Bye.